today I just want to talk about our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. So Fiona and I um, bought this vehicle just a year ago in September uh, 2022. So we bought this vehicle from Osborn Park Jeep. We actually put in an order in February 2022 and we had to wait for a couple of months. So when we got the phone call from Osborn Park Jeep that um, the vehicle has arrived in September. We were so excited. It was a long wait. So after we got the vehicle, we, we took it everywhere. Uh, we went on um, weekend trips and uh, we did one camp trip. Uh, we went to Wave Rock. It's around the uh, Wheat Belt area in WA. So we did some stop bys. We camped out at this free camping area um, overnight uh, before we arrived at Wave Rock. So when I put in the order for the Jeep, I went with all the options. So um, I added the trail ready package and the color coded fenders and the rooftop option as well. Uh, with the trail ready package, um, you get the steel Mopar bumpers at the front and the trail camera at the front of the grill as well. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna show you a bit more of the vehicle. So the trail ready package, um, you get the steel Mopar bumper and the trail ready front grille camera. So this camera, you only can um, view the video while you're on a trail. So there's no ability to record the video. So the fender is color coded as well, including the rooftop. So by default, the roof and the fenders are black. So this is a 32 inch uh, BF Goodrich um, tires so these are mud terrains km2 and the uh, standard um, steel uh, step assist rails so this is the uh, mopar topa hitch uh, that i've installed after we bought the vehicle so if you're planning to install the uh, tow hitch on your jeep just to let you guys know um, so this is where the original uh, car registration plate sits there was a big plastic here a rectangular shape but uh, they had to cut it so that they can fit the hitch here. So then there's a relocation kit for the car registration that uh, goes onto your spare tire here. So that was an additional cost to, um, to have this re relocation kit fitted. So all your Jeeps that you buy, the brand new ones, comes with a spare tire cover. So after you've got the relocation kit fitted in front of your spare tire. You lose the option to have the uh, cover on the spare tire now. Your reverse camera is located in the middle of your spare tire here. So I've got the Rhino Rack Pioneer platform installed myself. I got it from eBay. So if you're planning to install a Rhino Rack Pioneer platform yourself, just be aware that you've got to install, well, just be aware that you've got to drill holes to install these feet underneath the platform. So there's a total of 12 holes, six on each side. I even got the uh, Max Track mounting bracket installed as well. So this is a side mount. At the moment, I've got two Max Tracks uh, on the Jeep. And this is uh, in gunmetal gray, I think. The color just matches the, uh, the stingray uh, of the Jeep. So the plan uh, for the roof rack is to, um, to put a rooftop tent on top. At this stage, uh, we haven't got a rooftop tent. Uh, we've got a ground tent, uh, SUV tent that you can attach to the back of the vehicle. But I'll do another video on that one. So at the moment, I've got some space on the roof rack for storage as well when we go traveling, which is good. So I got these carbon fiber look mirror covers and door handle covers from Amazon. I originally bought these ones that's supposed to come with a hole here for the little button to unlock the vehicle but um, the person sent the ones without the hole in it so I actually had to um, drill the hole myself. The reason why I got these covers for the mirror and the door handle is to um, protect them from getting scratched. So we actually took the vehicle um, off-roading into some tight tracks and there were some bushes that were so close to the vehicle it actually made some fine um, some fine scratches on the clear coat and um, there were a few scratches on the on the back of the mirror so that's why I bought the cover so just give it the extra protection. I replaced the factory antenna uh, with the aftermarket um, Ronin the bullet antenna. One issue I have with this is that your reception is not going to be that perfect because of the design. I would say 
90% of the time you'll get reception and the rest of the time it's just poor or no reception at all depending on the location that you're going to and if you got um, some structure blocking it as well with the cheap wranglers you can actually remove the rooftop and all four doors as well the windshield you can actually put it down as well so that's what these two rubber stoppers are for let me take you guys inside the jeep and look at the interior so this is the um, satellite navigation system the jeep has a built-in um, gps map as well for navigation the jeep rubicon comes with the 8.4 inch lcd screen this is their media system the you connect so you've got media and you've got your climate control and you've got your other controls here, like your front and back mirror. And you've got some apps here, navigation app. So a quick view map, you can see the map. And you've got your phone connections via Bluetooth and options here for your settings. So it's telling me that I need to turn on the engine to access the settings. So let me just uh, turn on the engine. So if I go to settings, you can see all your options there with the trail camera at the front of the grill uh, you can access the camera by clicking on control and now since the engine's on um, you can press on forward camera which is the trail cam and then if you click on the back camera you can see the reverse camera at the back of the um, tailgate with media you've got the options of um, digital audio broadcasts and then you got your uh, old school FM and AM reception as well with this Uconnect you also have the option to use external uh, media like your USB drive to play mp3 music unfortunately you can't play videos on this system so this is the uh, center console so you got lots of buttons here you got your air conditioning uh, you got your temperature controls here uh, you've got your fan control here, your volume control here. So you've got your differential locks and you've got your off-road plus button and you've got your sway bar disconnect button there. Then to the right, you've got your four auxiliary buttons here. So um, if you've got any um, external electronic accessories that you want to control, you can actually um, hook them up to one of these buttons and you can switch them on and off. You don't have window controls on the side of the doors. So um, if you want to control the front and back windows, you can push either one of these four buttons there to open and close the windows. Um, at the back seats, the passengers have the options to control their windows um, at the back as well. At the back of the steering wheel, on the left and right, you've got a up and down button. Um, so the one on the left is um, the up and down button is for selection, like uh, if you want to skip to the next music or change radio stations, you can um, use the left up and down control. And then on your right, the back has an up and down control for um, your volume and um, you've got your phone controls here as well so steering wheel is full leather there's an option here to switch on heated steering wheel so which is this one here and just below is the uh, the button to switch on the passenger and the driver's heated seat press it so the three lights gives you the um, the hottest temperature uh, if you press it again it gives you the medium temperature and then you press it the third time, it gives you the lowest temperature for the heating. And then press it again to switch it off. So in the middle, you got your, uh, your gearbox. So you've got your automatic gear here. And then you've got your off-road gear here. You've got your four high auto and four high part-time. You've got your neutral and you've got your four low and two high. And in the middle console again, um, you've got your two cup holders. So the other thing um, here is that you've got uh, a USB-C and a USB-A connector. Um, so you can use either one to charge your mobile device or you can connect your uh, Android Auto or your Apple CarPlay. So with the Jeep uh, Wrangler Rubicon, you get the uh, full leather seats as part of a package. You get the uh, Rubicon emblem on there. So um, just above the driver and the passenger seat at the front, the, the roof here, you can actually remove them. This is the Jeep Freedom roof. Um, so you can actually remove these two panels and you get a sunroof. This is the back seat. Uh, it's all fully leathered and you got a middle armrest here for the back passengers as well so you can just pull that down you've got two cup holders 
and some room here for your mobile phone. And at the back of the front seats, they do have um, molly panels to attach things to it, but um, I didn't want to use them. Um, so I bought these um, molly panel from Timu and um, all these molly bags attachments, but I'll do a separate video on these um, molly bags and the panel. Just right behind here, you've got your 240 volt Australian power socket. You can power some um, devices here, you know. I was using it to charge my um, drone batteries. And um, at the back, you also have um, two USB-C and two USB-A uh, USB ports here for charging. And your back passengers have the options to open and close their windows. You also get the aircon vents at the back here for your passengers. Okay, so um, to open up the back of the Jeep, you just um, pull the tailgate back and the, um, the back window up like that. And you have access to your um, boot and your tailgate table at the back here. Okay, just coming to the back, you've got your roll cage You've got your Alpine uh, subwoofer at the back here. Um, the sound system is pretty awesome. You get a 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, connector here. Um, if you need to power up any accessories. So with the uh, Jeep Rubicon package, you get the tie down system as well on um, both sides here. These uh, tie down bits are removable. So you would normally hook your tie downs uh, on here on the tailgate there's a rail here for the tie downs as well which i don't use them anymore after i bought the jeep i got the boot liner from my local jeep dealer to install these uh, boot liner you had to um, cut through the cloth to get access to the holes at the back of the seats here so that you can plug these um, boot liners into those holes um, they're pretty simple just take your time and read instructions to fit this uh, boot liner on your jeep um, the other thing is that um, if you don't want to go with the uh, factory boot liner you can also get aftermarket boot liners from ebay this is a um, aftermarket uh, tailgate table that i got from ebay it looks like the factory tailgate table just without the jeep logo it's cheap and um, it works pretty well this is where the uh, tie down rail is right here as well that i was talking about don't use them anymore after i've installed the tailgate table you've got additional molly panels that you can attach uh, your molly bags to it one interesting thing about the tailgate is that you've got a um, a little spot here for drinks. So if you want to put the back seats down, um, you can um, just pull the latch here and pull the seat forward and uh, you'll get additional room at the back of your boot. I'll do the other seat as well. I'll put it down and you guys can have a look and see how much space you get in the boot now. So I'll do the same thing for the other seat. I'll just pull the latch and then put the seat down. As you can see um, now, um, both back seats are all flat and there's um now you've got um extended space at the back of the boot so one good thing about putting the seats down um flat like this on the jeep is that you get all this space for sleeping so basically uh, i've seen a lot of people actually camp in the jeep because you got all this space here you can um you can actually buy uh inflatable beds that just, that actually fits perfectly at the back here just in the middle of the roof uh, is your two speakers here and uh, we've bought a storage net that goes on top of your roof ceiling here just gives us extra storage when we go traveling so um this will fit on any vehicle so one thing i dislike about the jeep wrangler is that the fuel economy so we spend about a hundred plus australian dollars to fill up the car but besides that the jeep wrangler rubicon is an excellent car for off-roading going on adventures but um, I wouldn't try to drive this daily. There's, um, there'll be more plans um, to do modifications on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Um, so we'll be getting an awning, a rooftop tent, and uh, potentially a lift on the vehicle, and probably bigger tires as well. I know there's a size limit in Western Australia. The maximum size you can go is uh, 33 inch from what I understand. If I'm wrong, you can leave a comment below uh, if you think um, I can go bigger than that. But um, I want to go with 35 inch tires. I know the guys in the US, they go from 35 
237 to 40 inch tires. It's illegal here in Australia. So that's the end of the video about my Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And um, if you're new to this channel, um, please subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.